molecular base of inheritance chapter because principal base of inheritance molecular base of inheritance these are so important chapters this whole unit is so important by the way you will find 10 questions 15 question from this unit alone including evolution so see when we talk about the molecular base of inheritance you have to follow ncrt purely ncrt for this and they have added crispr and all in the chapter in the new ncrt so you just follow new ncrt for this right next is evolution so they have uh, deleted hardy weinberg principle but then i would say that you just follow your new ncrt right Hello guys how are you all so today we are just going to discuss the updated NEET 2025 syllabus and all the changes in biology and CRT which you have to study which you have to skip which chapter is compulsory and which like uh, topics you have to do from the deleted topics right deleted chapters so if these queries are in your head and you are so confused what to study after watching this video all confusion will be gone so let's see from the class 11th biology we know that living world is deleted from our new ncrt completely but for your neat preparation so if you are preparing for the neat 2025 you have to study what is living from old ncert yes you have to incorporate it in your notes second biological classification for this you have to follow ncrt and you have to remember this name who has given the name virus because they have deleted it from new ncrt right so bizarring you have to see it next is the plant kingdom you have to follow ncrt alteration of generation is deleted from the new ncrt but in order to build up your concept of meiosis mitosis gametophyte to do good right in other concepts in other topics you have to follow you have to study it for your concept for the neat exam for animal kingdom you have to follow ncrt plant morphology follow ncrt you know that new plant families are added you have to study them you have to uh, these are important root stem and the leaf modification you have to study all these these topics from this chapter right and you have to follow new ncrt along with this plant anatomy follow new ncrt study tissue but you can skip a uh, uh, secondary growth because they have deleted it from the new ncrt and also not so much important for your exam structural organization if you see uh, the uh, ncrt new ncrt they have not given tissue in so elaborative way so you have to study tissues because this this concept would be so important for your human physiology so uh, you will find a lot of the concept from the animal tissues in human physiology in order to understand that in order to understand the concept you have to study the tissue chap tissue animal tissue also right cockroach there in your syllabus frog there in the syllabus of neat but you can skip earthworm so yes earthworm is not in the syllabus right next because you know cockroach frog um, uh, so out of the cockroach and frog cockroach is not given in your ncrt in your new ncrt so you have to study it from the old ncrt itself or you can download download the pdf or you can get the print out of these topics from the specific chapter of the old ncrt right next is cell the unit of the life you have to follow ncrt you can skip because earlier we used to um, you know cover this microscopy in the class in our class polytene lamp brush but now we don't follow it because they never ask question from these topics so you can skip all these uh, things in the chapter but you have to follow ncrt right because new ncrt have all the things very in a very concise way and that's what required for your exam biomolecules for the biomolecules you follow ncrt but for this chapter to understand this chapter your teacher will take you further beyond the ncrt so for the concept building right so in all the chapters that we are discussing we have to go some time beyond ncrt to make you the concepts clear right next is cell cycle and cell division you have to follow ncrt for this transport in plants skip the whole chapter but again osmosis active passive transport is used these terms are used in different chapters so you can actually study these concept from your old ncrt and again i have told you how can you get these from old ncrt download the pdf of old ncrt get the photo uh, print of these topics and then study from there right next is mineral nutrient skip the full chapter photosynthesis follow ncrt and yes photo respiration and cam chart is given so that you have to you know you have to do these both from the uh, from that chart you have to study that chart also so yeah for this you can follow ncrt plant growth and regulators follow ncrt digestion absorption skip complete chapter breathing and exchange of gases 
cause circulation, body fluid and circulation, excretory waste and its elimination, locomotion and movement. You follow NCRT for these chapters because you will get hardly one to one to question from these chapters, right? Next, neural control coordination. You can skip all these sense organs, cranial nerves, reflex action. And for chemical control, you have to follow NCERT. Now let's see the class 12. So that's all for the class 11th. You have to study. I have told you all the chapters that you have to study, all the topics that you have to study from the old NCRT, right? Which are deleted from the new NCRT. But you have to follow these topics. You have to do these topics for your NEET exam. Okay. So next is class 12th, reproduction in organism. Study asexual and sexual reproduction only from that chapter because it's skipped. You can skip the full chapter. It is not there in the new NCRT. But yeah, asexual, sexual reproduction because again these are very basic things right you will find these sexual asexual in the different different chapters of uh, animal kingdom or the plant kingdom so for that concept or like sometime uh, because we already have done it in plant animal kingdom so it will be giving you good idea if you study it from here because they have given all the collective examples there right so it would be good for your uh, like concept even you can go for the diagram of merchantia diagram of cara that is given in this chapter you can you can see them once right because again these concepts are used in uh, 11th class botany so it it might help you a lot next sexual or reproduction in flower plant NCRT you can skip type of abuse ovules by the way it's not in NCRT type of ovules but we used to um, in the class we used to explain type of ovules in order to uh, understand in order to make uh, the students understand the topic which is given in NCRT but you can skip this type of uh, ovules now and follow NCRT only right for human reproduction, follow NCRT and earlier we used to elaborate types of eggs or we used to elaborate, you know, the uh, types of cleavage and all. So you can skip all these uh, unnecessary elaboration. Reproductive health, follow NCRT only. Principal based of inheritance, skip gene interactions like epistasis. Earlier we used to do the duplication, this duplication gene epistasis. Don't need to do this thing, right? So just follow NCRT and yes, sometime to uh, understand some topics, you have to go beyond little above NCRT because we go beyond NCRT to make the students understand this chapter, right? So yeah, you have to uh, go, but then follow, follow NCRT topics only. Molecular basis of inheritance chapter, because principal base of inheritance, molecular base of inheritance, these are so important chapters. This whole unit is so important, by the way. You will find 10 questions, 15 questions from this unit alone, including evolution. So see, when we talk about the molecular base of inheritance, you have to follow NCRT, purely NCRT for this, and they have added CRISPR and all in the chapter, in the new NCRT. So you just follow new NCRT for this, right? Next is evolution. So they have uh, deleted hardy weinberg principle well, but then I would say that you just follow your new NCRT, right? For this human health and diseases, NCRT, they have added new NCRT, they have added dengue and chikungunya. No, so they have added actually in the need syllabus, they have added dengue and chikungunya. So you can add these topics in your notes, right? Next strategies for enhancement in food production, full chapters deleted from the new NCRT, but they have added single cell protein, green revolution in microbes chapter. So you have to study these two topics in different chapter, but ultimately you have to incorporate it in your notes. Tissue culture, somatic hybridization, earlier we used to do uh, it in the plant breeding and now they have shifted it to the biotechnology application. So you have to study these topics from the strategies for enhancement of food production, although they have uh, shifted it to the other chapters so ultimately ask your teachers to you know complete this in microbes and biotechnology and application or obviously you can uh, incorporate this in your notes also right next microbes you just follow ncrt for this chapter super easy biotechnology principle plus application both the chapters of this unit biotechnology is super important because this time they have asked 10 question alone from this uh, two small chapters so these are super important you have to follow ncrt for this next organism population follow ncrt ecosystem may you have to do the full chapter of ncrt you can skip ecological succession nutrient cycle from the old ncrt and biodiversity for the biodiversity you have to follow ncrt right so this is the updated syllabus you don't need to confuse at least you have to add it the new whatever topics is required extra topic is required from the deleted chapters i have mentioned them so you can incorporate all these 
topics in your notes right and in case you are having anything to share write down in the comment box and all the best kids study well because you are having seven eight month and just utilize your time nicely wisely and stay connected with our channel for such videos have a great day